Hey, what is up guys, it's Cameron Rick here, and uh, welcome to Shadow of Mordor to Shadow of War Combat skill comparison I have added uh, more details uh, for every uh, skill And uh, at the end of the video I have also explained, in my opinion, what I choose uh, in the combat skill tree so I hope you guys will find this helpful and if it does please leave a like I would really appreciate it and with that said let's get into the comparison so first is the execution in uh, Shadow of Mordor we had execution related to hit strike so that is when the hit strike reached about 8 or 5 you would have, uh, you could have done the execution on the Uruks. And uh, now coming to Shadow of War, we have the execution not directly related to hit strike, but uh, it is related to might. So might is something uh, which is new to Shadow of War, and uh, I will just explain you a little bit about might. What is that? So in the map, you. When you see the uh, bar above the map, that's the might bar. So the might bar increases as your hit strike increases. So when your might bar reaches half or more, you will be able to do the level 1 of the executions. So like that. So this is uh, um, an example of that. And secondly, so when the might bar is half, you can store that might and use it anywhere else. That means you can uh, do the execution after a while uh, directly without building any hit strike. Third is I just wanted to show you guys level one executions. That is, if the might is not fully filled but uh, but it's half or more, you can do the level one executions. Now coming to the execution upgrade. So this is completely new to Shadow of War and the level the upgrade 1 is the Grim Resolve. So that is you gain might every time when you get hit. So this is also useful well I should say in a crowded area of the Uruks uh, when you don't have uh, any opening. The second upgrade is the secret might. So the secret might is a stealth tactic so you can use the stealth at the beginning of the fortress or any assault and build up might and then go to the uh, uh, like war zones to fight the Uruks head-on the third is the fatal might so this is same as in Shadow of Mordor wherein uh, when you have the precise hits on the Uruks you build up uh, or doubles the hit strike in Shadow of Mordor and in Shadow of War it increases the uh, might gained. Now coming to the second skill in the combat tree so that's the perfect counter so in Shadow of Mordor we had impact as related to perfect counter wherein uh, well timed or countered enemies can be knocked down or stunned in Shadow of War you have the uh, perfect counter which says well timed counters knocks down enemies so what do you mean by well timed so well timed is when the indicator turns blue as shown in the uh, video and if you're not able to precisely do that you might get in trouble so you have there's a small window to it so otherwise uh, you would have to take the damage so coming to the perfect counter upgrades so this is also new to Shadow of War and the first upgrade is Rain of Arrows so Rain of Arrows is for every well timed counter you will gain an elf shot so this is pretty good way of uh, mixing up ranged skill in the combat so you can go and again chain it with other range attacks so next is mighty reversal so this is the one which I like so gains might for every counter so this is not well-timed counters 
rather it's just the normal counter which you do. I think we might be able to do by mashing the uh, Y button also for the counters and uh, you can gain might for that. The next is the fatal counter. So this is for every well-timed counter you will be able to execute the uh, Uruks. Which is pretty good if you get the timing right. And that's about it for the perfect counter. Now coming to critical strike. In Shadow of Mordor we had uh, two upgrades. That is, first one is it doubles the hit strike. And the second one is it triples the hit strike by not mashing the buttons, rather you time the attacks right. Now coming to Shadow of War, Critical Strike is uh, given as a base skill and it is more generalized in terms of uh, melee attacks. So it it is that like when you do the melee attacks you will have a chance of getting the Critical Strike. So it's not entirely related to hit strike. Coming to Critical Strike upgrades. We have three new upgrades for this in Shadow of War. So first one is uh, Reprisal. That is, uh, when your health bar is low, you will have a greater chance of doing the Critical Strike. So this is useful when you're fighting against higher level enemies or a bunch of uh, higher level enemies. And it also depends on the situation though. Yeah. Next upgrade is the Unstoppable. So when you maintain the hit strike about 30, you will be able to have uh, more chance of doing the critical strike. So this is the one which I like because it is so much useful in combat because we always try to do the melee attacks more. And this third upgrade is Elven Precision. This is entirely related to Shadow of Mordor. Wherein, uh, when you time the Emily attacks uh, correctly by not mashing the buttons, you will have more chance of getting the critical strike. So that's it for critical strikes. Now coming to grand finishers, we have uh, in Shadow of Mordor we have the skill impact. So under the skill impact, we had the grand finishers. It was all in one set. So now in Shadow of War, see the ground finisher is kept as a separate base skill and uh, this is related to perfect counter because uh, when you do the perfect counter you will be able to knock the enemy down and then do the ground finisher. But it should be a well timed counter. Now coming to the uh, ground finisher upgrade. So this set of three upgrades is new. Shadow of War. So the first one is the one which I love. That's uh, Fury. So by doing this you will be able to gain uh, Might as well as Hit Strike. So this is so useful in combat to get the uh, Might bar as well as the Hit Strike up. The second upgrade is the Rate Shield. Wherein, uh, when you try to do the uh, ground execution, Calibrimbo comes out and then uh, protects you from uh, being interrupted. This is also useful uh, to... Well, it depends on the situation again. The third upgrade is the uh, ground drain. This is useful in getting the health back because uh, the only source of health is uh, Drain in uh, Shadow of War. It's uh, useful to that and also you can dominate the enemies by doing that. So that's about it for ground finishers. Now next up is Brutal Aggressions or Executions Level 2. In Shadow of uh, Mordor we didn't have uh, level 2 executions, we only had one. And coming to Shadow of War, the Brutal Aggression is a base skill, wherein uh, in the Might bar, when you see half orange and half red, 
you will be able to do the brutal executions so by doing this the surrounding Uruks will flee in terror so which is good for us and coming to brutal execute brutal aggression upgrade sorry about that we have two of them so first one is uh, rate executions that is when your might party is half or more you can initiate the execution and then at that point Calibrimbo comes out and do the shadow strike execution on the surrounding Uruks like this you can chain it you can chain it for multiple Uruks and you need to like focus on upgrading the ring so that you will be able to have more focus So next up is the uh, Ceaseless Might. Uh, this is when you do executions, it used to consume the complete uh, Might Bar. And that no longer happens if you have this upgrade. You still have a little bit of Might left, or if you have the complete Might, it will be reduced to half. Now coming to Retaliation or Last Chance Finisher. This is the last one. And here in Shadow of Mordor we had the last chance finisher upgrade wherein uh, you could have countered the enemy at the end of your life and executed him immediately. So this upgrade is the same in Shadow of War which is called Retaliation. So when you perfectly uh, do the last chance you will be able to execute the enemy. And next is the retaliation upgrades. So we have three of them, which are new to Shadow of War. The first one is Adamant. You will get uh, additional extra last chance, which is good in combat if you're fighting very tough enemies. The next is Vengeful Drain. This is this is the one which I like because you will be able to drain the attacker, gain uh, health back, and dominate them going back into the combat and the last one is burst of might wherein you gain full might on a perfect last chance counter so I'll just explain you what is perfect last chance so in this video as you can see so the only portion of the uh, perfect last chance is that white area as you can see so if you miss it you will be in trouble Now the last part is the top skills to choose in the combat tree in my opinion. So uh, coming to first one is the executions. So under executions I would definitely prefer secret might if I'm going stealthy. Or fatal might if I'm going into melee combat. So next is the perfect counter. So under perfect counter we have the mighty reversal. That is uh, gain might from each counter. It's just a normal counter, not a perfect counter, so I would definitely choose that. And coming to Critical Strike, we have Unstoppable. So that is uh, when you maintain the hit strike about 30, you get the Critical Strikes. And we could use this or the Elven Precision, which is timing the hits properly by not mashing the buttons to get the Critical Strike. And... Uh, for the ground finishers, we would uh, definitely want Fury because that would be a great starter to go in combat to build up might as well as the hit strike, wherein you punch uh, them for 10 times on the ground. So that's the one. And for brutal aggressions, uh, I would definitely use ceaseless might, wherein uh, might is not completely consumed by executions. And coming to the last one, that is uh, Retaliation, we can use uh, Vengeful Drain, that is drain the attacker to gain health as well as dominate the attacker. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, and what I want you guys to do is let me know your op opinions on the combat skill tree and what you choose in Shadow of War in the comments below. So, see you guys on the next one.